overcome them like nobody else. Yes. Why don't you talk, just so people get to know you a little bit better, Pearly, why don't you just tell them a little bit about your family? I have two children. They're six and three years old. They're both deaf as well. We are an eighth generation deaf family, so we all use American Sign Language. That's my family. All right, and I asked her. Like, here in the front row as well. We were, where's, where's your husband? There he is, right? He's taking pictures down here. Uh, they, they were great. We were talking last, we were talking last night, and I said, you have two daughters, and I always ask people, you know, which one's your favorite? <laughs> the second one. <laughs> Yeah, she caught me off guard because when I ask that question, you know, you always expect the politically correct act, you know, answer that. Like, oh, Jeff, that would be the right thing to do. And she was like, bam, number two. So, yep. so it's great that, that she knows who's who in her family. It's awesome. Why don't you tell us, pretty a little bit how you became part of the Beach Fund? Okay, it's a bit of a long story. And it's still an ongoing story. But I grew up in a dormitory environment and it was pretty far from home. And so that's where I was raised and we had to eat cafeteria food all the time. So my entire upbringing, you probably don't really love cafeteria food, right? Anybody? <laughs> so it sucks, it's horrible. And, there's no nutrition, and that's the environment I grew up in. I was chubby, I gained weight very easily as a child. And once I got out in the world, I decided to take my health more seriously and I joined a gym. However, the instructors would speak and not sign like I did, so I missed a lot when I was trying to work out and I wasn't getting the results I wanted. So, with work and family and all those different issues, I faced all these other barriers that are normal for everybody. And then I found TurboFire. And I bought the Beachbody DVDs, they had captions, and that's how I found Beachbody. And after that, it's another story. You want me to continue? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm tracking so far. Okay, so I worked as a corporate recruiter because I got my bachelor's degree in human resources and business administration. And I got laid off from that position. And at that point, I wasn't employed, and that was around the same time I found TurboFire. So I was doing the workout program, and I was noticing results. Because of growing up chubby, I was seeing these results quickly, and I'd never experienced anything like this in my life. So once I realized I could share Beachbody with other people and help other people set up their own businesses, I started from there, and it's been three years now. I took it seriously, and the captions really meant a lot for the deaf community because Deaf people don't really go to the gym either because they're not getting the results they want because of the lack of communication. So I'm really glad that I found Beachbody. And Beachbody has been great for deaf people in the community to have access to information and nutrition through their websites and using Shakeology and all the different workout programs available. I've really enjoyed it. So as you look at Beachbody, just up to this point in time, how?